it was another big night for Channel 7's reality TV show Big Brother with the elimination of Marissa last night. At 61, Marissa was the oldest contestant and she played the game until the very end. Ben will speak to her in just a moment, but first let's take a look at her eviction. And I have the final results. With all five votes. Marissa. Unfortunately, you have been evicted and it is time for you to go. The lasagna is ready to go in the oven. <laughs> See you guys. Bye, Marissa. 40, 40 minutes in the oven and there's some um, sunflower seeds on the top. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Bye. Bye. See ya. Well, she was the aerobics instructor who gave the housemates a run, or a workout, I should say, and a run for their money. Joining us right now on the Ben Robin Robbo Show this afternoon. Thanks for joining us, Marissa. My pleasure. It's so much fun. It's so funny to look at that. I'm just hoping the lasagna is still not in the oven. I just love that you were giving instructions on the food when you were leaving after you'd cooked yourself. Like you were you were cooked and you were done and you're still giving tips on. I cooked as well. <laughs> it was so funny. I, just, I, I had to leave with love because I loved all the housemates and we got really close at that last part of the series of the last 10 people and then it was eight. So it was really important that I shared that love with them. So leave love. Yeah, well, I think that's a really important message. At the end of the day, it's Big Brother. It's a game show. It's a bit of fun. You know, it's exciting to get picked to be in this series. How do you think you went overall? I think I went really well. I really pushed myself to the limit. I didn't expect to get as far as I did. And I wanted to win, of course, but there was a lot of backstabbing and knives and oh, shanks yeah. and everything else going on. So you actually had to have one eye open, one eye closed at night. So... There wasn't a lot of sleep in the house, but that's okay. I think it was hilarious. And do you know what? My favourite thing about you is I'm a huge fan of Wentworth and Prisoner. I don't know if you are, but I kind of felt like I kind of felt like you were kind of emulating some of those girls being top dog of the Big Brother house. The top dog of the... Yeah, well, I lost my girl gang, so then I had to suffice with Kieran. I have to say, now, Kieran... Now, Kieran is an interesting person to live with. I can tell just, you know, I think because I'd been in the Big Brother experience, I could see, I could read between the lines. What's it like living with a cockroach? It's, <laughs> um, you wonder where the rest of his legs are. That's what I'd like to know. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of wet towels going around the house. <laughs> he gets trodden on a bit but he still manages to be half mangled and still crawl around the house. So that's the funny part about Kieran, but he's a great guy. He doesn't take life seriously. And that's what I love about him because he just has a good time. What was the next step for your game plan? If you hadn't have been eliminated last night, you know, what was the next move that you were going to play? Uh, next step would have been to try and get rid of the big boys, uh, Dan and Matt. Because they're such a strong yeah. influence in the house and they play a great game, that was my next challenge was to convince Chad, even though he had an alliance with Dan, to try and take them out because I want a girl to win Big Brother this year. Now, interestingly enough, when we found out about Marissa, who is over the age of 60, joining the Big Brother house, we were reminded about a very famous young girl and her sisters. What do your sisters have to say about you being on Big Brother? I think they just thought that here we go, there, what's Marissa doing now? Everyone knows that I love a challenge, so this is part of me and I think out of the three of us, I'm the most adventurous. I'm the one that will put myself out there. Uh, I've got a great niece and nephew and they're really supportive. Uh, they're saying, keep on going, you crazy auntie, get going. So it's great. <laughs> well, I thought that you were fantastic on the show and I just would like to know, what is your advice for the housemates that are still left in the house? Because Marissa, you were owning it. I've never seen anyone with as many strategies as you and I feel like you're the best person to ask for a bit of advice for them. I'd say um, just check your back every few minutes because it's getting very <laughs> hot in there. There's a few shanks that I know that a few people have got up their sleeve. I've tried to warn some people about that, like little Soph, 
that some people are definitely coming for her. And I know that she's DM'd me last night saying thanks for that. But it's, <laughs> it's a really scary game now and the pressure is on 24-7, even hotter than you can ever imagine. It's hotter than a normal sauna. You know, actually, you've just reminded me of something. And in the history of Big Brother, I've, well, yeah, the Big Brother house heats up, that's for sure. But you've just reminded me of something uh, which I found really hard to watch as a viewer. Do you regret your decision to add an extra point to Angela for her to be eliminated? No, because it wouldn't have made any difference. Um, by me not putting my point on to somebody else, wouldn't have made that much difference like because I wanted someone else out but I had to save myself because I was the one going to be living in that house without Ange and they knew that we had a really strong alliance and I might have been the next one out so it saved me some time so you've got to be really smart and the reason why I was actually upset was because I had to vote Ange out so that's what I was crying I wasn't crying they were like crocodile tears. Um, <laughs> but it was because Ange was going and I knew she was going because she sort of let it out too much. And I knew that there was going to be some very salty people in there, that room, and there was. And they actually apologised to the guys. And I said, guys, that wasn't okay what Ange did. She may think it, but you shouldn't necessarily say that. And no one should be called out. It was, we're all in a group. We're all having fun. It's a game. Don't take it too seriously. And mate, I've got to live in that house with them. So I explained that to Ange and she's absolutely fine. Well, Marissa, there's always all stars. Thanks for joining us uh, oh, on the you. show this afternoon. We thought you were fantastic in the show. You're a big personality. You played hard and uh, I thank applaud you. you for that. So thank you very much for joining us and all the best. My pleasure. Have fun, guys. It's a Ben, Rob and Rob, oh, Ben.